I swapped my car for the train for the next leg of my journey. Somehow I didn't expect the weather to be so, so British. The train's just left Athens here, and we're going to be travelling round, 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 round into the Peloponnese, this sort of wild area which is so mysterious and of course the very birthplace of all the gods and myths and legends and everything seemed to happen down here my route will take me to the region's most spectacular mythical and historic sites discovering places that drew masses of pilgrims from across the ancient greek world ending my journey at this great civilization's most sacred place delphi but first, my train is taking me to Epidavros, the most famous theatre in the ancient world. As an actress, I'm longing to see this place. The legendary acoustics of what we call Epidaurus has attracted some of our modern-day greats like Pavarotti and Maria Callas. I'm meeting one of the most popular female singers of them all, Nana Muscuri. Over her 50-year career, Nana is claimed to have sold more records in more countries than any other woman. Oh, look at this! <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Epidavros was built in the 4th century BC to honour the god of healing, Asclepius, son of Apollo. It was a sanctuary to cure the sick, and for the Greeks, theatre was part of the medicine. There were comedies, singing contests, and great tragic plays. It's a very mythical place, and it's a place when everybody comes to participate, to get together. One does feel a, a, an extraordinary presence here. It is. It's true, isn't I, it? We believe that it is inhabited yes. by, by gods, yes. by semi-gods. Yes. The legends survive, and here it's full of legends. Have you sung here? No, 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 no I haven't had this, this uh, honor, really, which was, it's the dream of every, I think, of every singer. Trained as a classical singer, the young Nana was cast to sing in the chorus of an opera here. But at the last moment, she was dismissed, simply because she was considered to be a pop star. When we arrived here, they got a, a, an order from the highest point possible to not to use me, because it became a scandal. And I was really, I came back the next day all by myself, crying all the way through. So it was something, for me, it was a sort of stigma. Those slights, those injuries, but this, sit deep in your heart. Really. Yes, I think I never learned more than my, from my failures. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> and this was no failure. You can be heard all over the auditorium by an audience of 15,000 especially if you stand bang in the middle of the stage. The acoustics are so special. Can we test them? You, you don't think you'd sing? Should I try? Will you please try? <laughs> okay. no, no, I'll try. I'll try. I don't know what to do. I did not rehearse. I did oh, not do my voice. But I, it's a pleasure. Try. Yes, I will do it. Miss Muscuri, this is your five-minute call. OK. <laughs> I go fast, and I better have a good voice. <laughs> I should be able to hear Nana perfectly right up at the back, 200 feet away. The shape of the theatre and the use of limestone rock reflect the sound perfectly. So, Joan, I'm on the, on the right spot. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Nana. Okay. I can't hear you very well, but it's okay. Ave Maria.
Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ευχαριστώ. Είναι εξαιρετικό να έχει κανένα ρεχάσιο ή κανένα ορχήστρο. I first saw Nana Muscuri when I was in my teens, I suppose. I mean, I didn't see it. And it's just so odd as life goes by that you, you get to meet some of these great gods. Well, that was something to be in a Epidavros and to hear Nana Muscuri singing for a tiny house on a Monday evening, but just sort of in the lap of the gods. <laughs> 